All right, here we are back at the barrel. The Bayou Bastards yeah. wasting first no round. time. He's going to have the first round. Pero 10 rounds lap. ang gagawin nila diyan. Oh, and a Mahina. slap to the eyebrow by the Bayou Bastard. Mahina, no. The eyebrow slap is a new technique for me. I do think that's probably going to be a uh, we're probably yun. not going to call that, but it is uh, a completely foul. wasted turn. Tumama sa ano sa I, I, unless there was something on Monkey Wrench eyebrow. Tumama sa mata, Paul. Some sort of a bug or a you know, some sort of, maybe it was mayonnaise, I don't know, but uh, the Bayou Bastard just helping his opponent before the fight begins. Oh, no Bayou hero. Bastard has the first slap tonight, and the reason is because Monkey Wrench came in overweight. He came in at 207 pounds, which is 7 pounds over the maximum. So Middleweight pa pala sa kanila tong ano mga kabakal, 190 to 200 pounds, middleweight pa. That's how it is here at Slap Fight Championship when you don't make weight. Ang hina, no? Parang ang hina. Ricky just kind of smiles at him and says, good job. And uh, there looks like there will be no break for Ricky. Ricky's ready to push the pace. Four, Round two. two three, oh, a nice four, shot from Ricky. Wow. Okay, Ricky's back at the barrel. Second round yun. Yung pahinga nila. Matagal eh. Matagal yung pahinga nila. Yung recovery, matagal. Monkey Wrench is going to take a little bit of the break here. Monkey Wrench is part Parang of the team Parang mahina nga eh, no? Sevierville, Tennessee. And of course, Parang mahina eh. The Bayou Bastard, part of Team Tank. Pero 10 rounds sila dito, 10 rounds. Monkey Wrench in his corner tonight. Monkey Wrench with a nice shot there. Some blunt force trauma to the cheek of the Bayou Bastard. Okay din pala na ano, no? Isasama natin yung audience sa pagsigaw, sa pagbilang. Third round. Dire-direcho, third round. Round three. Oh, a big shot from Ricky. Monkey wrench stays on his feet, but he felt that. Of course, these two fighters went toe-to-toe just a few months back. Parang malakas pa sumumpal si Boy Tato dito eh. Stepping violation. On the part of Ricky, Ayon, nag may stepping violation. Tonight, Ricky is here with a vengeance. He wants the middleweight championship. He is the most experienced in the middleweight division. And uh, of course, Monkey Wrench. Monkey Wrench is a fighter that is undefeated at middleweight and has never Take your time lang eh, no? Hindi ganun ka strict sa oras. Career. Ricky, maybe he could possibly have had the most penalties of any fighter in the sport. But yeah, at this bawal point, he's, career, he's got it honed in. Oh, Here we plan. go, round three. Good shot from Monkey Wrench. Parang baliwala lang eh, no? We're gonna move into round four. Round Monkey Wrench four. steps back to the barrel. Pero sabi nila magkakadubuan daw ng buka dito eh. Another good shot by Ricky. I have to say, Ricky's looking great tonight. He's keeping his penalties to a minimum. Siguro dapat magpaturo kay Maka High Lord itong mga ito sumampal lang. Or sa mga vloggers natin para sumampal lang. Hina eh. Monkey Wrench is looking cognizant. Monkey Wrench sponsored by Big Boy's Barber Company. I'm just kidding. Monkey Wrench doesn't know any barbers. Hey, here we go. Round four. Round five. Good shot. Not a oh, lot of power in that, but it was a good fundamental slap. Round All five. Right. A few, few people in the audience reminding Kyron that he's horrible with the ring cards. Here we go. One, Round five. Two, three. A lot of respect between these two competitors. Monkey Wrench looking like a young gay Wala, captain. Tatalo, tatalo, tatalo na yung mga vlogger natin. Dito sa Pilipinas. Na yung mga sumasali dito. Yon, medyo mukhang malakas. So far. Very competitive fight so far. Not a lot of power, but I think that's because in this particular fight, the penalties are going to matter immensely. And these guys have dialed back. Ah, yon. So sinabi nung ano, nung announcer, nung ano, narrator, Wala masyadong power kasi nga ang laban nila ay belt. So nag-iingat silang magkamali ng sampal. So yun, narinig natin. Back their power in favor of winning the striking match. Here we go, round six. 
Oh, Ricky with some big power there. Turns the head of Monkey Wrench. Belt na kasi pinaglalabanan nila yun. Nag-iingat. Inakout mo na lang. No, dapat ganun. Right, I've just conferred to judge to my right and it looks like they're not going to call that. Fantastic slap by Monkey Ranch. Best slap of the match so far. And he fist bumps Ricky as if to say, Yes, I did a great job. Seven round. Ricky with a new tattoo representing his MMA team on his right hand. Yeah, a good shot from Ricky. This is a tough, tough fight, and these guys are being very, very cautious with this fight. daliri lang ang tatama. Ah, limang daliri ang tatama. Ah, so may ganong rule sa kanila dito na limang daliri lang. Ang pangit nun. Hindi, ano? Sakop naman eh. Okay, they're telling oh. the fighters to watch the flinches. Not illegal, but they're getting to the point of... Ay! Oh! And a great slap from Monkey Ranch. He's starting to pull it in now. Yung medyo malakas yun. Eight rounds. We're in round eight of a ten-round schedule you know? fight. Buo yung kamay, oh. And it couldn't get any closer. Ricky with another solid shot. Monkey Ranch is starting to have some signs of wear on his face. Oh, oh, knock out mo na lang, sabi nga ni Bartolo. Knock out mo na lang. There was a penalty. I don't see a penalty here watching the replay. Ah, uh, tumama sa ano, sa baba. Monkey Ranch doesn't like the low blows that hit underneath the jawline, but uh, it's not about how low it hits. It's about how deep it hits. Eight rounds. Okay, a little bit of a flinch by Ricky, but I don't know if they'll call that. I don't I don't think it made a difference in the power of the slap. Bawal ata itapat ang palad kaya mo ang mahina. Medyo. Tingnan niyo mga kabakal yung mukha nung ano, nung nakaputi. Ano na parang may blood clot. Eh no, sa pisngi yung nakaputi. Tingnan niyo. All right, the Bayou Bastard. Some check his placement round 9. Eh no, may ano na sa pisngi. Mapulan. Ayun o. Good slap. You can see just a little bit of blood. Ayun o. Ayun. That was high. We're going to check the replay here. May ano na nga. May, may dugo na yung pisngi niya. Ganun pala kapag ma madaming ano, rounds. Ayun o. Okay, pisngi niya. It. It, it, it's, it's not a, a penalty. The heel of the hand did not extend deep enough for that to be a club. It was a little bit high. Uh, but it wasn't uh, deep enough to do damage on the level of a club. So it, it looks like some conversations are happening here. Uh, Ricky is offering Monkey Wrench a penalty if he wants it, and uh, that's just a testament to what a great guy Ricky is. But if he were to have accepted that penalty, uh, Ricky would have lost the match no? due to that penalty. So, Magana yung mukha niya, no? Malalakas din pala talaga. Here we go. Round nine. Oh, a good shot from Monkey Wrench. And we have a fantastic, mighty battle going on here. A little bit of blood on both cheeks of the competitors here. Ah, pareho. Parehong pisngi. May, may dugo na rin ng konti. Last round. Ten rounds, oh. Alright, I just looked at the judges' scorecard here next to me. And this fight is almost even. I don't want to tell you which way we're leaning here. But my gosh, this could go either way in round ten. Siguro, mga kabakal, kapag belt na ang paglalabanan, 10 rounds talaga. So at least dito alam natin, kapag belt ang paglalabanan, 10 rounds. Oh no! O sa yan, mag-ready na kayo mga kabakal sa mga vlogger natin. Sa mga vlogger natin kapag, oy, warning, may penalty. And that's gonna end the match. That's gonna be a penalty for Monkey Ranch and that's gonna be the end of the match. We're gonna go to the judges' scorecards. O, tingnan natin siya nanalo. Tingin ko nanalo dito yung nakaitim. Pero to ha, tandaan ninyo, kapag belt na paglalabanan, 10 rounds. 
I have to say this is a very more on mga technical yung titingnan natin dito. That last by monkey wrench probably made a difference. Uh, but again, I'm just commentating. I'm not sure. Unless na lang kung manak out. Unless na lang kung manak out, hindi na umabot ng 10 rounds. Ayan yung replay. Alisin ko lang yung sounds. Baka makapiray tayo sa sounds eh. Second round. Mas malakas mo ang pali na kay Tim eh, no? Ayun, no, kitang kita oh. Yung umiikot yung ano niya eh. Ulo niya eh. Fourth round. Ayun, medyo malakas yun. Chill, chill lang sila. Ninth round. Yung mga malalakas. Sinighlight sila yung mga malalakas sa sampal. Ten. Hindi, 3 rounds yung regular pala. Yung regular na laban, 3 rounds. Pero kapag championship belt, 10 rounds. Round contest going to the judges and your winner by split judges decision. Split decision. And new oh my gosh. The Bayou Bastard doesn't even realize it yet. He is the new slap by championship middleweight champion belt, holy oh. smokes a, a quick show of sportsmanship here but i can see on the face Don't of go anywhere. Rich, he is furious Ricky with himself okay nakita ninyo so yung ano mga kabakal yung 10 rounds daw pala kapag championship na siya belt tandaan niyo ba yung ginawa natin ng ano yung yung ginawa natin ng reaction video yung sa slap yung bumaba na yung pisngi yung nakagano na yung pisngi niyo kagano na pero nanalo siya 10 rounds nga din pala yun. At belt din yung pinaglabanan nila. So ngayon kasi wala pa tayong belt. Kaya mag na yung ating ano, mga vloggers. Kasi uh, hindi pwede yung mga ano, yung mga paisa-isang training lang para makasali ng slap battle. Kasi pag nagkaroon na tayo ng belt, yung paglalabanan yung belt, 10 rounds. Kung dalawa ang pagpipilian ng URC, si siyempre ang magdi-decide yan, si na boss, si na chief. It's either 5 rounds or 10 rounds sa tulad sa ibang bansa. So, anong opinion nyo dito? Anong opinion nyo mga kabakal sa 10 rounds na championship belt? Kayo ba ay agree or hindi agree para malaman natin ang opinion nyo dito sa 10 rounds? Tingin nyo ba maganda ang 10 rounds or 5 rounds lang or 6 rounds lang? Di ba yung mga 6 rounder? Anong opinion nyo mga kabakal dito?